okay everyone uh, hello good evening good afternoon good morning according to your time zones so again i am welcoming everyone in the session on behalf of infosec train and today's webinar is all about how to prepare for your ccsk exam right myself rishab kotial and i will be the speaker for this particular your webinar right moving ahead we will be discussing today's agenda so first is we have very basic thing what is ccsk i hope most of you are familiar with what is going to be a ccsk right then what are the domains in the ccsk right then we'll be doing some exam discussions like patterns some tips and you know how to prepare for it now then i will be some doing some of the sample questions discussion with you like sample questions means what kind of questions you can expect from you know few of the domains not all the domains like around let's see five to ten questions how uh, you know how much time permit us to discuss about the questions right so this is going to be the our agenda for the day now let's just go ahead and let's start with the what is ccsk right now uh, you will be familiar that the ccsk is certification of cloud security knowledge right that's a full form now when we are talking about the CCSK, the vendor for this examination is going to be the your CSA, which is Cloud Security Alliance. Now, many of you will be familiar with the Cloud Cloud Security Alliance as well because it is a non-profit organization with a particular mission to promote the use of the best practice for providing security assurance within cloud computing. Right. So, if you have visited their website. You must have find out that you know, they are best practices for everything that you are deploying on the cloud. They have some certifications as well for the users. They have the certifications for the you know any organization or a cloud service provider that you know what they can go for. They what they can go with and you know say that you know they are CSA star certified, right? If you have seen those things, you will be a bit familiar about or you might have read about the Cloud Security Alliance. So it also provides the education on you you know on the users of the cloud computing and secure all the other form of computing over here okay so multiple time when i was also learning so i didn't directly jump onto ccsk you know, first i was you know mostly uh, throughout my career i was dealing with the azure right so there i used to see that csa logo you know in their tr service trust portal so when we start learning about these kind of things you know many multiple time we have to opt for the best practices so where we used to go on the CSA's website, they have a lot of a white papers as well, right? So they have the white papers uh, like how you will be providing the security to your application services, how you'll be providing these, you know, what are the risks that you have to look for in your cloud service security, you know, what is the best way of implementing infrastructures, okay? All those kind of things were there, right? So when we are talking about the CCSK, CCSK is a web-based examination of you know an individual's competency in key sec, you know cloud security issues so this exam is all about that you know what are these risks in the cloud right and you know uh, how we can you know handle them so what are the risks the challenges in the cloud so this is going to be i would say if you'll ask me it is starting from the somewhere very basic that what is a cloud and then how to deal with the cloud and cloud security issues that is going to be the part that is going to be in there right so it was launched way back in 2010 and ccsk is widely recognized uh, uh, ccsk is widely recognized standard expertise and industry primary benchmark for measuring the cloud security skill set so ccsk was recently lauded as the most valuable it certification in terms of average salary by certification magazines over here now when we are talking about the ccsk uh, i on the personal level suggest that you know a lot of the lot of you will be working in the it of the different different field some of you are working as the you know uh, right let's say infrastructure security network managers right application devops different different places and since the 2010 when the covid it hit our you know uh, whole world right it has the lot of the you know, repercussions during that time a uh, lot of the lockdowns around the globe and due to that what happened is the you know cloud boom that was expected towards the 2023 
right it came sooner what we can say right even the you know uh, this is the my one of the statement you'll be you, know, you might be hearing from me a lot of time that even mr sutin adela during the 2020 he expected that what changes he wanted to make in the you know 20 during till the 2023 within the three month of time they have to prepare the infrastructure and everything you know for that and due to that there was the you know boom in your cloud right a lot of the things like devops move to the cloud ai ml services all of these things they move to the cloud itself right now we start using even uh, one of the example uh, some of you might be working on the uh, your you know sock centers so no one has, would have thought that during that time that you know people who are working in the SOC, you know we used to call it the 24 7 you know uh, SOC centers running 24 7 no one has imagined that you know people from you know in your SOC center they will be working on the your work from home model but that become possible nowadays we are seeing the sim tool are also becoming your cloud base right so we are having different services like infrastructure service you know platform as a service software as a service we are having your this whole scenario this was a boom so cloud uh, sim tools are also becoming the cloud base over here so different services like security as a service like you know, security security as a service right or your identity and access management become you know or cloud based a lot of the services security related services become the cloud based over here right so the, uh, these things they play a bit you know these kind of a roles in the development of the cloud and the use of the cloud so it not only bring the people to the cloud but challenges to the cloud as well so you are deploying the cloud so how the architecture should be what are the security challenges in there how it is different from your on premise so many of you who is working in the different domain you might have seen that you start moving towards the cloud mode now to gain the knowledge that what is a cloud from the very basic how things you know working in the networking section in the storage this is the one of the very best starting place if i would have to say ccsk personally i love on that particular purpose over here right in the market there are other certifications as well in the cloud which you might have heard one of the thing about the ccsk is first thing it is kind of a vendor neutral it is talking in terms of generally that what is a cloud okay what is a cloud now apart from that it is also talking in a very general term that how the networking should work how your application design should work in from you know no matter either you are working with the aws azure or anyone how application design should be how your infrastructure design should be how identity and access management should work these kind of things are going to be in there right so it will be just talking about these kind of a scenarios from the vendor neutral point perspective that this thing should happen and these things should going like this you know goes like this so this is the whole idea about it similar to this you might have heard other vendors as well other certification like there is ccsp right now we can say that is one step further you know once you are familiar with this thing then you can move to the ccsp uh in this year very you know very beginning i remember you know uh, ec council they launched ccse right i am certified I'm, i was the first of those people who got certified in the ccse from the ec council as well so that is also in the market which is just simply talking about the cloud security but from a technical point perspective so what is the difference ccsk will be talking in terms of the risks that what risks are there in the cloud and how to handle it while when we are talking about this particular your ccse right it is more of the technical implementation of your technical in implementation of your cloud right so this, this is the difference between them ccse and ccsk right ccse from ec council ccsk is this one now when we are talking about the domains what are the domains that is covered in your ccsk so there is going to be the 14 domains and which is having higher weightage what they discuss let's just take a look into that one now when we are talking about the cloud compute ccsk domains in the ccsk domain first is going to be your cloud computing concepts and architecture so 
here we talk about that what kind of you know what services are going to be provided by the cloud you know cloud service provider to you by the azure by the aws gcp oracle anyone any service provider you are using what services they are going to do you might be creating a virtual machine you might be creating a web application you might be creating a sql server so now what you have to do you have to define and design it that what and how we are going to do it so here you'll be starting with a very basic concept of the cloud that what is going to be the cloud what is the standard definition by the nist so nist is defining the different different as you know, aspect of this one so like the broad network access rapid elasticity you know you know uh, your rapid elasticity your what we call uh b r r o m hmm, how i forgot okay you know your broad network access rapid elasticity your uh, you know okay i will try to remove the uh, another r o is your on demand your on demand self service and m is going to be your major service over there right so these things are going to be in there the you know, how nist is defined over there that what is going to be the different different parts of the cloud so when they are defining these things they are going to work around and tell you that you know these are these service models these are going to be the your uh, you know yeah so you know, service models uh, deployment models all these things will be discussed so there is the broad network access resource pooling and there is going to be the rapid elasticity on the one self service and major service these five factors over there right then it will be talking about your you know deployment and the mod you know service types like iaas pass saas and then there is going to be the you know your models like public private okay public private your hybrid okay and like your community cloud like these right different types of cloud that is going to be in there so from the domain number is going to be the one and two this one and governance is going to be the very important from the exam perspective because a heap of a questions you will be getting from there like virtualization you know how what is virtualization those kind of a thing okay uh, okay someone asked me the what b stand for b stand for the broad network access okay now here when i'm saying the you know cloud concept and architecture you will be defining that what is going to be the in the architectures architectures design what it is stand for right what challenges and risk you can face over there okay what is a very basic challenge from moving from your on premise architecture to your cloud architecture data migrations what is going to be there that you know challenges that you might feel migrating your data or migrating from the on premise to the cloud itself over there so that is going to be the part which it will be discussing very basic of this what is going to be the you know uh, the different different cores and the hardware that is going to be used how the design will be the you know they generally talk about like a logical model that how they have defined the client like infrastructure meta structure infrastructure apply structure that kind of a things what are the roles and responsibility okay in the cloud those kind of a thing they will be talking about that you know what should be in there the how the cloud processing model is going to be in there okay they will be talking about all these kind of thing how you'll be operating in cloud so all these kind of things will be discussed in the lesson number one and a heap of a questions from the first two domain second is going to be the governance and enterprise risk management so it is more about that okay i'm pretty much sure the guys who are doing with the erm erm framework you might be using right now so you will be pretty much familiar that what are the risk that we are facing on to the you know general your on prem right what frameworks are why or how we use it what are the governance methodologies and technologies right so these kind of things are going to be in there okay now when we are talking about these scenarios so how it is different on the cloud and because we don't have to choose any new enterprise risk frame management uh, rmf risk management frameworks because there are previously defined one now how those will be changed for your on premise uh, to the 
cloud how they will be changing it over there right some of them are already there that what are the governance what are the tools of governance so you'll be talking about that contract one term remember in the exam as well one term which is very important that is going to be the contract because contract is going to define a lot of a relationship over here right the contract between you and contract between the cloud service provider it will be talking about them there is going to be the enterprise risk management risk tolerance creating these you know your risk profile for the organization and then how you are consuming these services that is also going to affect your governance and erm both right if it is a ies service pass service or saas service based on that these things are also going to be affected so how these things will be and what are the recommendation that is going to be this particular part and trust me guys first two domain are going to give you a good amount of questions itself then you know and one more thing when we are moving into the cloud you know some of the questions let's say if, you know i want to move to the azure some of the questionnaires you should be preparing and for that there is some additional doc and something like CAC, def, you know, CAC document is also pre prepared over here which is going to give you the questionnaires that if you want to move to the cloud right what kind of questions you should be asking that is going to be all defined in this CAC you know your questionnaires a very simple a very small document when you'll be downloading the study material over here it is you know usually called your consensus assessment initiative questionnaire caiq right and all these things you can download from the your uh, cloud security alliances website itself so if i will show you how where it will be just give me a sec let me just open the page here Okay, so there is going to be this is a CCSK, right? So what are the benefits? Who should earn the this CCSK? You just type the login and work with this. So exam pattern will be talking about. This is their star program for the certification to the cloud service providers. Here you will see this is the consensus your assessment initiative questionnaire CA IQ over here, right? So it offer industry accepted way of document what security control should exist in the IES pass and SaaS service giving the security control transparency and before you start moving you know you'll be selecting some of the questions over here that if I want to use the cloud service provider service you know, what things control I should be looking for over there that is going to be in there then you know then there come the things like the legal issues and compliance and audit over here right another dominating kind of the places so what are the legal issues we'll be facing like one of my favorite thing to do in this legal issue is there's a question let's think about it a very simple question of forensics if i have to do the forensics on the cloud service provider what will be the legal issues the challenges it is a multi-tenant environment it is a shared environment there multiple people's data is going to reside over there so am i going to get the directly the access of that physical device physical server or i have to go through the multiple channels and then raise the request depending on the issues from the you know uh, depending the or waiting from my cloud service provider to give me something over there so all these things are going to be in there okay now apart from this okay when we are talking about this thing now what else is there so legal issues so you know what are the contracts as i was telling you the contracts are going to be the pretty much very important in between all the time right now contracts are going to define that how you guys going to consume the your services right and you know during the contracts there is going to be the different type of contracts as well there is going to be some sorry, like service level agreement now thing is that in service level agreement cloud service provider will be saying that i am giving you a virtual machine which will be available for 99.9% .9 of the time and you know different there is when we talk about security it is going to be a, some shared responsibilities as well right now this audit management so what will happen audit will be done by the third party right cloud service provider are not going to allow you to go ahead and audit them so there will be third parties to whom we have to trust right all the charges of these you know auditing and everything will be bear by the your cloud service provider and i'm talking in terms of the public cloud right now not the terms of the 
private cloud okay so they will be bearing the cost they will be doing the assessment of your cloud infrastructure they will be saying that what controls were perfect which were not where you lacking and those report will be shared by the you know your shared with your all the your customers right now audit is also important to check why why that if they have promised something like you know my vm and my storage is they will be available to you 99.9 percent of the time are they really available for that 99.9 percent .9 of the time or not right so this is where come you know audit will be coming and then compliance because around the globe there are different different industry specific compliances as well you know you'll be having like in the legal issues mostly they will be talking about the gdpr okay then in compliances you will be you know, having like pci dss hipaa all these industry specific things you know what and how they have to implement and what there will be the options all these will be discussed over there right so that is going to be the your legal issues compliance and your legal issue compliance and the audit management over there right now next thing is going to be the more about the information governance so uh, you know how the information is going to be governed over there what is the what will be the different you know what will be the shared security responsibility over there you now uh, things like the uh, but different different data governance requirement like if there is multi tenancy shared security responsibility then talking about the jurisdictions right jurisdiction boundaries and data sovereignties these kind of things compliance all these kind of things will be part of the governance so governance means simply we are talking about the life cycle so many of you must have completed things like cissp or other courses as well where we talk about the data security life cycle like create store then there is the use okay create store use then share archive and destroy that is a life cycle phases that what we have so when we are talking about this right now okay uh, these are going to be like you know a whole life cycle how this data you will be handling over here so it will be all about those things that what kind of the rights access management right this is going to be there because and we are not talking deep down on the encryption and all here why because if you will see for that this unit is going to be there data security and encryption okay so that's why not that much deep diving over here just the governance life cycle that you know you should be thinking about when you're creating defining classifying that data so that kind of the things we'll be doing over here in the information governance it's classification of the data right giving them the proper metadata over there those kind of thing will be the part then management plane is something which will be you know management plane and bcdr business continuity disaster recovery these are the things that is going to be discussed together now management planes are important so you know uh, i think i read a question in between that was, I was talking about the meta structure so if you have to simply think the meta structure think about this management plane what are the management plane management planes are going to be like you know how you are accessing aws how you are accessing azure from my end i have few options like if i have to access the azure uh, I can use your PowerShell. I can use your uh, Bash shell and you know uh, Azure CLI what we call and I can use the portal dot Azure dot com as well same AWS has its own portal to access it GCP has its own portal So all the infrastructure that you are preparing Right from where you are doing this you are preparing it through the management plane when I have to create a VM, I am selecting the service, clicking on that. It is doing what? It is sending an API. And that based on that API calls, what is happening? The infrastructure is being prepared for you. Right. So these kind of a thing. So one of the things to protect is going to be like securing your meta structure, securing that management plane that you know it should be there. And not only that, one more thing over there. That is going to be the business continuity okay so there are a lot of options like to take backups your take the backup take the snapshots over there right uh having this some services where you can store these snapshots and all these kind of services as well so even there are options like your infrastructure is in the aws and you are storing it on the you know the data and all you can store it with the 
Azure as well, right? So these kind of a thing cloud based backup not only AWS and Azure is there. There are other service provider as well. There might be some SaaS service provider software as a service which is just giving you the services to go ahead third party going ahead and giving you the backup option disaster recovery option those kind of a thing then there is going to be the infrastructure security which will be talking in terms of your compute your network and the storage right so storage security is going to be in here data security and encryption part so compute will be you know you might be consuming services as a virtual machine uh, as might be you know your serverless computing or via the containers so what is going to be in there that is going to be the part right so these things are there so how you are going to prepare the for the infrastructure security compute how we are going to secure virtual machine what are the, you know if securing images disks those kind of a thing uh, network preparing for the segmentations preparing for the you know your first of all the segmentations prepare for the your uh, apart from the segmentation what okay uh, you have to prepare for the segmentations access control list you have to prepare that as well okay yeah uh, segmentations prepare for that as well okay right uh, access putting access controllers who can access the network putting some solutions like VPN might be you want to deploy some you know private network serve you know private endpoints over there uh, locking down with the IP addresses you know all these kind of different solutions which will be related to the VPN you know, like uh, load balancers or uh, you want to deploy some uh, firewalls layer 4 layer 7 firewalls web application firewalls right these kind of things if you want to do that is going to be the part which we are generally dealing with okay so this is going to be the infrastructure network security and storage obviously here data security and encryption that you know uh, if you guys are familiar there is volume storage and there is going to be the your object storage so how to protect them there is also going to be the databases as well so how what are, what are the encryption options uh, like server side encryption client side encryption these kind of things are there how to protect these things that is going to be the part of it right and then now when we talk about the volume object database options we will be discussing how to encrypt it data at rest data in transit these kind of a thing then there is going to be the virtualization and container as well which we'll be talking about what virtualization technologies we have right the challenges like if you are not if you have not patched there is a problem or the challenge which is called vm sprawl right that what is that you know those kind of a thing and what is the containers technology why we are using it okay how the images of for the container should be kept those kind of things will be discussed then incident response so many of you are yeah might be the part or that you know working already in the team of the incident response so in that incident response there are different phases right if you will be looking on the NIST definition of the risk, you know, NIST definition of the incident handling. You know, there are the different phases that is there from the NIST. When you have the different different operations from the, uh, you know, different different your phases. So how these phases they will be incorporated in the cloud? That is going to be the discussion of that incident response. Each phase, what is going to be there? Now, many of the application will be deployed over here. So how you can protect your applications that are deployed onto the cloud? options challenges and risk we'll be discussing of the applications over there and one of the you know i always say in not only in the cloud but in the other sessions as well i always say that iam is becoming more and more of a new security pillar so how you are going to control access to your management portal to the cloud using the identity and access management how to create users okay changing their credentials what access they should be given how to do the access control authorization all these kind of things are going to be the part which you will discuss right and we will discuss over here as well uh, identity entitlement access management all these things then there is going to be the security as a service and related technology towards the end so you know what are the security services even iam is a kind of a security as a service right ddos protections they are the security as a service even your firewalls these are the 
you know, security as a service. There is cloud sim tools, right? That is the part. Casby solutions. They are the security as a service. There is cloud security posture assessment tools, CSPA tools. They are also the your security as a service over here, right? These things are going to be in there, right? So some of the other related technology that right nowadays we are using AI, DevOps, all these things are the part of the your CCSK domain. So these are going to be the heavily dominated domain. And apart from that, two more documents will be there for the CCSK from where you'll be finding the only few questions like two questions, two to yeah, two to three from here and same two to three questions from CCM cloud control matrix. So it is the matrix or it will be a documentation, you know, a, I would say it will be a kind of, a, you know, your Excel sheet, which will be talking about that. What are the, you know, different, different domain control domain? What controls are there like for application security application control, right? What application controls should be there now once they have you are talking about the application control. It is a domain. It will be called a domain. It will be having a unique domain ID and it will be having control like you know one to these control right so you know you should apply this this so this is going to give you the suggestion that for each kind of a domain what controls are there and how to you know how to implement this there will be a two two you know one document is this one is this and the book which I say you know which usually candidate refer as a book that is called your security guidance security guidance okay then you know there but you know one question one time was there that which was asking that what is the difference between these things so security guidance will be telling you how to implement these things and your crowd control matrix is telling you that what are the controls that you can use this will be the difference then there is going to be the anisa's document which is going to talk about the cloud risks what are the risks in the cloud And it's a cloud risk, right? It will be talking about these kind of a thing. So these documents are also going to be there, which we'll be talking about. And you know, two to three questions you can find from here as well. Now we will be discussing regarding the exam, right? It's pattern and some tips and preparation from my end. Now there is the duration for the exam that is going to be 90 minutes. Okay. 60 questions per exam you will be getting now all of these are going to be the multiple choice questions oh and some of them will be like true and false as well so we'll be discussing some question don't worry we'll be discussing some questions that is going to be in there so some of them is going to be the true false okay so what is going to happen you have to score 80 percent and one thing about the exam it is going to be an open book exam so you can have your notes those documents open so personally let me tell you a, oh, a little secret over here that when i'm talking about these two you know uh, cloud control metrics and isa document i have opened them side by side because sometimes in the exam they'll be asking you that what is this domain talking about the domain id and i can't remember exactly what is the domain id so yeah i can open it side by side and just look into this one that okay what is it So open book helps you in that, but don't go in exam thinking that every question, all the 60 question. So don't go in the exam thinking that you are just gonna go there and get the all 60 questions done from the side by side. Okay, you will be doing this side by side and you know, it will that no very, very tough. First, you have to score 80%, right? Means 48 answers you have to mark correct and 48 answers you know when you start searching on the internet it will take time because you will not find the direct answer on the on there so those will be derivative questions so it will take time to read question understand the answer so you have to go and study the you know their security guidance now the book that i have you know many people refer as a book with the name security guidance right so that security guidance like I if I remember version 4.0 going on right now you will see 
the questions are directly picked up from there so it is almost around 150 page only the security guidance only 150 page and questions are directly picked from there so if you have studied this 150 pages you're good to go right you should be having some basic concepts clear so there is 150 pages that is there that you can read in addition to that do a lot of the question answers okay this is how i followed so what i was doing i was reading my book then i was doing the domain one question answers right picking up online tests okay all these kind of a thing and then doing those kind of the question answers as well from the each domain right that what is going to be in there and that you know doing those practice again and again repetitively and you know because there is only 152 around page on the security guidance it was easy and rest of the thing you can have open so you'll find it because it will be very basic and first two domains was your pretty much heavily dominated over there that's why it you will be seeing that yes it is good to go with as well right so every day if you will be reading like you know you are working coming back from the home to going with the 10 pages a day that should be fine and highlight the book if you will be seeing my book it is highlighted completely yellow so points i have noticed because questions are picked up directly from there so you know practice at least that out of these 60 questions you can at least pick somewhere around 45 questions directly right by yourself and then on the last 15 you know get that cushion for going you know, wrong as well so that kind of thing is going to be in there in addition to that when you purchase the ccsk exam it gives you two attempts okay so keep this in mind as well that it give you the two attempts so unfortunately if something or due to any condition you know you didn't clear in the first go you have the second attempt as well right and this is going to be in there so book that security guidance is going to be yeah uh going to be in there and we can have that and he you know uh what we will do is we will be going on to the like yeah like you can review the question as well before submitting you can change it so those will be shown on the bottom like you know these boxes question one two three so if you have to change you can change them answers as well okay and it will be your open book so yeah don't worry about it so that is going to be this i mean my personal suggestion would be you know go through that 150 pages one or two times if you have gone through those 150 pages you are good to go you know if you have read the thing you have highlighted things you are good to go for the exam you don't need any help or anything right so that is a bit about the exam itself now when we are uh, okay so when we are talking about this whole thing okay ccsk and all so these are the seven here seven in the first page and seven on the second page 14 domain if you open security guidance 14 domains are going to be in there okay so they are calling it the domain one domain two so seven on the first seven on the second so do not get confused if it is there okay two slides were there first seven other seven okay now let's just discuss some questions over here right without any further ado let's just discuss some questions that what kind of questions is going to be in there okay so let's just discuss for the webinar purpose some of the questions that what kind of questions give you a hint that what kind of questions you'll be getting in the exam so let's just go start with the first one now let's say that steve rogers run a very small software company you know software development company and want to use a cloud environment to install test and modify the application across a number of operating systems which cloud service model is probably best oh i will write the her purpose so yeah his purpose remember install test and modify application across a number of operating system number of operating system that is going to be you know give you the hint so if steve if i will give you the answer if steve is going to use the is model steve need to install and maintain the operating system as well okay and if you are you know steve is going to go with the sas model steve is going to be you know is not going to be able to install test or modify the own software right so sas and is out of picture 
I never heard something like Grimbo. So it is already in the out of picture and then we have the pass. So a pass model will allow Steve to install test and modify software using a variety of operating system without requiring Steve to install and maintain a an operating system over here. So that's the first one. Okay, so and remember two things that is this part and this small software company. These were the hint Right, so you don't want to go and manage in you know handle your operating system by yourself so multiple time in the exam the Options look pretty much close like you know, this could be also the answer This could also be the answer that kind of the things are going to be in there now we have to opt for the best solution in that particular scenario over there. Okay. Now, next question is you are the security officer for a small business that store medical records for wealthy celebrities. Your client pay premium price for the highest possible security. Your company is considering moving from a traditional on premise data center to the cloud. Senior management has asked for you to recommend a recommendation on which cloud deployment model to be used which one you are going to suggest Private cloud right so private cloud deployment will offer the most security for the asset you control the other deployment model they do not offer the same level of your security over here that is pretty much you know the one of the basic questions that what we can get now here again which of the following is impossible to outsource Every organization is responsible for their own governance. Okay, so organization they can and often do they what they do they outsource the business function listed in the other answers like you know they can all these things, right? They can outsource these kind of a thing, but responsibility for governance is always going to lie with the particular organization itself. Okay. So this is going to be the answer B now When we talk about the data that is being stored who is the original owner of privacy data Right the subject the processor the controller or the regulator Okay who is the original owner? So remember subject is going to be the person about which you are collecting the data like name Your your name your you know credit card details your address all these things and That's why you are going to be the original owner of the data, right? There is processor data processor data controller as well, right? So those are the different different these you new know, data roles that what we generally assign over here, right? So they are not the original owner. They are there to apply some Security or some controls to your data so that it can protect apply the metadata You know how to process the data that kind of thing their role is you know, stuff completely different So the data subject is always the original owner of the privacy data over here Okay the subject is going to be the owner now a bit different question but good one that which aspect of cloud computing make traditional audit approaches difficult now this is the kind of the places where you might see the two very familiar answers and you know you are getting a bit confused at from with which one you want to go right so you have to select two answers
okay let me tell you very small things like if you will be looking into the security guidance around page number 54 you'll be seeing exact the answer of this one right similarly here as well who is the you know owner of the data protection or you know when we talk about this one that you know impossible this responsibility i think very starting somewhere around the page number 28 you'll be finding its answer itself straightforward from that security guidance book you know all these things so here as well that when we want to start with the two things okay resiliency is their architecture okay good no problem so it is not the answer huh? uh, let me just remove this thing if i just only talk about the answer because when we talk about cloud computing resources are typically virtualized and distributed you know uh, than the traditional so that's why the traditional audit approaches they may not be applicable you don't know you know they are distributed usually what is happening you know there is a nature in the cloud center there are multiple devices right so what is happening with the resource pooling is for you if i'm a user i don't see what is happening behind the this you know meta structure field for me i am simply wanting that eight gigs of ram i want and you know maybe four gigs was here four was here four was here just an example i'm giving and all of these pool together and they will be giving you the eight gigs of ram right out of it although this is just a very basic example just to understand so i don't know what is happening in the back end so this virtualized environment has keep, keep, keep these things hidden from me they are virtualized and they distributed in nature that's why the traditional methods are not going to be implemented over here okay that is going to be the another thing that is there now when we are talking about the cloud computing uh, you know so you are asking why not the f because if we put the things like the private cloud in picture then you have the physical control over here right so yeah sometime you have to think from that perspective as well and eliminate the answers as itself okay now this is a very simple one if you have seen the data security life cycle so put the phases of data security life cycle in proper order okay so if i will tell you the answer for this one is going to start with c so c okay create then f store then d use then a share then e archive and then your b destroy right so this is going to be in there this is the sequence that is going to be in there okay keep this over here now if we talk about the analogy over here so as an analogy gaining access to the management plane is like what getting access to all personal record getting physical access to your building getting access to all traffic entering leaving your IT environment or getting unfettered access to your data access So I was telling you that uh, when we talk about the D answer number D, this is particularly true for the IES environment, which is very much replicate the function and purpose of the traditional data center. Now, both access to your personal record and getting the physical access to the building, they will be having some damage to the organization, but somewhat very limited. And they are not nearly the same level of threat like getting the access of the management plane then even even monitoring getting the you know inbound outbound traffic monitor is yeah can pose some significant threat but attacker you know it is not nearly the same when attacker 
can control everything through the management plane. So D is the answer that is going to be the getting unfettered access to your data center that is going to be in there. Right. And one of the yeah one more questions for cloud provider there are typically three different different physical network okay this is for only those guys who have actually gone through the bit of the book of ccsk and all or you know basic cloud there there are actually three physical network in the data center okay which of these is not one of the typical network Okay, so the, you know, there is actually no review network in any cloud data center, right? I think everyone can guess from the name. There is one service, the storage for you know that you know taking the data, uh, getting the data, storing the data, getting the data. Then for the you know, between the service and one for the management portal, you know, from your backend, like from the service the storage to the management portal, three different physical networks are there, but not the review, right? So this is the right answer for this one. Right, there is no network with the name review network. Okay, these things are going to be in there. Now, which of the following is not considered a major virtualization category according to the Cloud Security Alliance? Okay, so I think. We already know that a uh, compute virtualization obviously we use networking virtualization we also use and in the end there is the storage virtualization we also use right so we cannot get to virtualize the user in the most of the environment so right answer for this one is user virtualization which we haven't achieved yet okay now the one last question for the day which phase of the incident response life cycle is used to determine ways to improve the incident response process and this is a very common one even though you are not from the cloud background you can answer this if you have a bit of the idea on the incident response and security okay so I think most of you will be familiar the post mortem phase is used to optimize your incident handling and response so usually we create something like the lesson learned report llr over here right so this is going to be the one of the last questions so these were the just the sample that how the questions are going to be the in your examination okay so there is going to be the your question number 10 over here for the most of the guys thank you so much for joining us this is going to be the you know our webinar for the day that what is the ccsk what domains it has what it covers how to prepare for the exam and some sample questions we have seen in today's very small i know this was a very small session but yes just to get you guys peak your interest over here that what is the exam you know you guys should not be feel worried so you know that's why we hosted this i hope you guys have enjoyed this particular session